Record monsoon rains and melting glaciers have triggered the worst flooding disaster in Pakistan's history and it's being blamed on climate change. Health officials have reported an outbreak of waterborne diseases and the UN says more than three million children are in need of humanitarian assistance. It's now thought that a third of Pakistan is covered by flood water. That's an area the size of the whole United Kingdom. More than a million homes have been destroyed or badly damaged. So far, 1,100 people have been confirmed dead. And another 6 million are in desperate need of help. The long-term effects are set to be bleak. 80% of the country's livestock have been killed and a huge amount of crops have been wiped away. Al Jazeera's Zain Basravi has more from Sindh province. Well, we've been talking for days about floodwaters coming from the north in other areas and coming down towards Sindh, and we've, we've found where those waters have been stopped. People in this town of Meher in Dadu district have been using sand and dirt, uh, dirt at this point of time in the floods, taking on a premium role in trying to hold back the floodwaters. People are trucking in sand, filling up sandbags, and warning people to stay away from these mud walls that have been built around the town to try to keep the water out of the town, out from, uh, keep it from pouring into the town. Now, where I'm standing at street level is about five or six feet below the water line. Let me show you where that is. You see the mud wall there behind me, and if you come up here, this is where the water level is, and it goes on for a great distance. You can see everything is submerged. There are bits of road that are a little high enough for people to be able to walk, to get to where they need to go into the distance our residential areas, our villages, our shops, our people's homes and businesses. And there are rescue operations happening here. There are police and emergency vehicles. There are military vehicles and boats. And what they are doing is trying to shout out where they can. They're taking boats into those areas to try to reach people that need help. Uh, just here, police are trying to call out to anyone in these buildings to see if anybody needs to be evacuated. This is still a very, very active scene. And this water, it is unknown how long it will be standing here, but what people are hoping is that these, these sandbags, these dirt embankments, these makeshift dams that have been built by the people that live here, the hope is that this will be enough to keep the water at bay until it dries up, until it's pumped out, and people are being warned to stay away because the threat of more water coming, the threat of an imminent breach and this water flowing through into the town and further on is still very real.